Okay, the first thing you have to do is, if you look up to the current position panel, it'll tell you click to add location. That means that the station that you're docked at isn't recognised in your database. So the way I do this is bring up this panel. I'm going to commodities market because you're going to need that in a second. The, come up your system map and left click on the current position panel and press add new market. have to fill in a few of these fields to make sure this thing's purple so straws up. See they've all went green which means it's automatically filled in the rest. Sometimes <coughs> excuse me, you'll have to fill in the allegiance panel, probably the type of station that it is. You just click on the queue and then left click on the field and it lets you select the different types of stations. Once that's done you click save this. And assuming you've set it up properly in the configuration, you would have installed Elite OCR. What Elite OCR will do, will take a screenshot of all the commodity markup and it'll add it to your database. And you do that by clicking on commodity, scan prices, clean scan. Now before you click scan, you need to make sure that this isn't selected. By doing that, I always just move my mouse up to this direction here. And then you press scan. That one takes a second. And once that's done, you move down to the next section. Again, make sure that panel isn't highlighted. Press scan again. And you do this for every commodity in the market. that's done, you click save, and you'll see the two up updates here, it'll tell you the station that you're in, the type of station, and when it was last, you last updated to that. If you've also installed the Elite Dangerous Market Connector, you can click connect here as well, but yeah, I don't have to worry about that. All that really does is, oh wait, this finish is connecting, all that really does is grabs your information from the from online, how many credits you've got, type of ship you have, and your ranks, and your outfit for the ship that you're in. So you don't have to worry about that too much. But yeah, once you've saved the commodity market, it should recommend the trade, the best trade route available in your database. If nothing appears here, <coughs> excuse me, you may have just forgot to set out a lot of your jump limits and your trade limits. Uh, my anagon with a fully leading can jump limit 16 light years, so you just left click and jump limit and hit enter once you've got that in the trade range. I usually set it to two or three times on the jump limit, uh, depending on how far you're willing to, to travel between trades. If I set it to 32, that will then recommend the best trade route within two jumps of my current location to see where are, see the trade route. Well, it'll tell you here, but to see exactly what you're doing, you just left click on the trade button. And it'll give you information on the current station that you're in here, and your destination station, and all their prices. The center bit here, this is the information for what you want to pick up. And as you can see, it's recommending superconductors. And I will get out 1300 credits profit per ton. If I take superconductors from Stross Hub to Plexco Dock. Welcome, welcome. You have arrived, arrived, I hope this helps.